What's up guys? Welcome back to the 59 watch on PGA Tour. Today we're playing as Ricky Fowler and we are going to be playing Quail Hollow. We've done PGA West with Jordan Spieth in the last part. If you missed that, go back and check it out. We're just about to hit 100 likes on that part, so that would be awesome. We hit a 61 there. We came close. I'm using a new microphone as well. I'm using, uh, I just got this today, the Blue Spark. I am getting uh, some things for it so I can attach it to the thing that I have attached to my... Um, my blue yeti which is the swivel mount or whatever this thing uh so i can put it on there because right now i can't put it on there and i'm using a book to bring it up a little bit so i'm gonna attach it on here and i'm gonna have it coming down over my face so let me know if the mic quality's improved a little bit it should be better because i will be up closer to it in future times um because from what i've heard i've, I've tested it out it sounds really good i think it sounds a lot better than the yeti um personally but um maybe not to you guys i don't know you guys might not notice a difference but um yeah it should be good let's jump in and start the round right about now ricky fowler on quail hollow we're gonna try to be hitting 59 this is part two of the 59 watch we hit 61 we came close in the first one i actually came a lot closer than i expected at all but uh, i was pretty happy with it actually, i actually have no sound here so let me uh, plug my headset in to my controller and we should be good to go now So again, um, my green screen should be better as well uh, very soon. It's just at the moment I have no curtains, so the lighting is all messed up and it makes the shadows here in the background super annoying and stuff like that. So the green screen isn't up to the best standard right now, but it should be better uh, in the very near future. I think I'll have those curtains up tomorrow. Oh, okay. My bad. Quail Hollow, let's do it, boys. There he is, the man, the myth, Ricky Fowler! Alright, 59 watch number two. Let's see if we can do it this time, boys. I ha oh, We're playing on the hardest settings, by the way. Um, Alright, guys, let's do this. That yeah, should be a perfect start, down the middle. Practically, practically, it's good, we'll take it. Now we need uh, to get this close. The greens on Quail Hollow are really difficult. That's one thing about this course. The greens are way harder than you think they're going to be. Oh, that's, that's way big. Spin, please spin, Lord. Lord, keep coming. No, that's terrible. That's going to be a horrible little downhill area. I should not have ever, ever had that above the hole. Oh my god, there's way more than that. Are you shitting me right now? Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Well, if we start there's with no a bogey, we might apart. as well fucking Let's pack it in. About this one. Um, golf is not about perfect. But it's going to hurt the course. Oh, thank god. So just All right, started. so we start with a with a par. It's not the end of the world. We're going to need to go 13 under here though, cuz this is a par 72. We're going to be better fared on courses that are par 70, I know, but there's a sort of shallow bunker in that back area, and uh, also that green it's fine, it's doable. to reduce in size on the left side. Oh, that was perfect. Be good. Be good. Oh, come on, sit. I thought that was going to be perfect distance. I landed at the very front of the green, so I couldn't have done much more than that because otherwise it would have been in the bunker. day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Looks like this does break a little bit. Yeah, more than that even. God, these greens, man. Your mum could make that. That's a disappointment, Frank. That's some horse shit, dude. Horse Melodion. What are you looking at, Moving on to the third hole now. It's a par four, 452 yards. This is horse shit, dude. I'm telling you right now, this is horse shit. The fairway actually goes in the opposite direction of the dog leg. Must hit a good tee shot. Um, There's a good tee shot, baby. Right also, over the trees. The and that's going to be in the middle of the fairway. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. It's nice to roll in a 25 foot in there. And those feel good. But still, there's nothing like hitting that perfect tee ball. Long. Straight. Did he just say perfect yeah, tee ball? Puff out your chest. Uh, last to play. The advantage. Holes shorter. Basically, the list goes on. 
And this will be fine. Just a little left of the flag. That's way left of the flag, dude. Come on. Good it's not good enough contact. right now. Nice I thought it would, the way I was standing that it was going to go that way for some up. reason. This is actually impossible as well. Look how hard these greens are. Look how far out, out I'm aiming here. But that's going to be in. That's our first birdie of the tournament. Come on! Alright. Ricky makes one. Finally, we made one. Now, we got two par fives in the front nine, so if we can eagle one or two of them, that would give us a much better shot at this. With Jordan Spieth, we came very, very close. Very, very close. 61 we shot. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze gave that a nice boost. It can't be that good. It can't be that good. Go hard. Go hard. Jump. Jump. If I had hit the full 170, it might have been in the hole, honestly, because I was dead at it. Dead at it, son. Ooh, chance for birdie birdie. Well, this isn't. This is for some reason is putting me off right now. Which way is this breaking? It's right in the middle. Yes! Come on, Ricky. Right, that's two birdies on the bounce. We have a par five, par three, par five combination here. So if we can come out of that four under. Three, four under. We the then we're five on the par. Yeah, this is reachable, providing you hit a good drive. Otherwise, it becomes very awkward on the layup. Um, you know, sort of often threading the ball out of trees and just trying to find you some sort of third shot. Uh, so, to your point, oh, big shit. advantage with a good tee shot here. Slow down, slow down, slow down, Betsy. Slow, 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 slow. Damn! Oh, oh come on! Are you kidding me? Tough shot coming up next. Oh, it just barely went in, and now that's a terrible lie. Fuck it, dude. It's left. That one is bunker bound. It looks like. How? How does that go left, dude? In the I aimed break. way right there. You saw how yeah, far I aimed right, guys. Plays like. Frank, there's nothing like catching a bunker shot just perfectly. Splashes out, lands softly, and just runs up to that hole. Yeah, it's like 3D. There's the component in the strike where it's going to land, and then the third part of it is how much would it roll. Right, that should be a birdie to go to three. Yeah, that was just some should be three birdies on the bounce. Birdie. Frank, two is nice, but... Three is even better. Okay, perfect. In the hole. And we're three under par now. And we have a par three coming up. And I think six is a really hard par three, is it? Yeah, oh my god. That's what these guys need, especially in a PGA championship. Fortunately, the hole plays a little bit downhill. But 250, whichever way you cut it, is a big par three. Should be pretty good right Sit. There. On the safe side. Sit. Sit. Ooh. That's a good one. That's a good one there. He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated offline. Well, that what? Been there was... Reasonable chance for I literally only yeah, saw a no tiny damage. bit of break. I barely put you that outside the hole. You don't I never saw that much away. break. This is about concentration and Was there really that much point. break, guys? Holy ball bags. Nice par to remain three under. What the shit? I never would have seen that. Ever. We need an eagle somewhere along the way here. So this would help us greatly. In today's uh, game, 530 plus change, you think is incredible. We need to be at least six under on the front nine here, because then we go seven under on the back. You know what I mean? You can't have us going freaking five on the front, because then we need to shoot eight under on the back nine, which is incredibly unrealistic. So 61 is our best shot right now. 
getting is, our, is our best score right Jones now. We'll see if we can top that. Really looks dialed in at this point. Which would basically right be a 59 a unless we shoot a 60. As a golfer, your swing's good. The timing, it's almost like it's just completely natural. You don't have to think. The swing is exactly where you want it to be. So really, you're just looking at the flag in front of you. Keep going, keep going, keep going towards that flag. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's an eagle putt right there. Ricky Fowler for eagle. Oh God, I don't know about this, man. Never a fucking chance, dude. I can't tell with these the greens, man, whether there's you enough break or not, because spots. sometimes you'll put it and there'll be fucking loads of break, and other times there won't be half enough. <laughs> we need to birdie these two. We need to birdie these two, for sure. Ooh, it's a drivable par four. What do you think of this hole? It's not a bad hole. Uh, drivable, some might say, but the angle of the green means it's hard for that tee shot to keep on the green. But the, I think the reward for hitting a driver is try and sort of aim at that tree just left of the green. And the reason why is then you've got to pitch up the direction of the green. This is a really narrow green. No! What? Greg, it's a hard game to play from the high grass. That, and that's where he's been more often than not today. Second I thought the shot, wind would bring him back in. Here. Not even close, dude. That was terrible. What are you doing, Turlock? Oh, <laughs> if I had left it at 31, it might have gone in, honestly. Just about. All right, that's another birdie. So we're five under now through eight holes. We could be a lot better, honestly. That's the way these 59s are going to go, though. You need everything to go in your favor. stops it from being the toughest, Rich, because it does kick in from either side. But when you see holes like this, there's no surprise why the Rory McIlroy's and the Ricky Fowler's are one around here. This is just a great driving par four. Did I really hit that? Are you fucking serious? It set me up there. I didn't even move the thing. It set me up to hit that. I didn't think I would hit it because of the way it actually just set me up like that. I was like, alright then. It's fucking horse shit, dude. That's an amazingly good shot right there. So from the rough... That's absolute bullshit though, I'm telling you right now, fuck the, fuck the game for doing that. I'm gonna blame the game and not myself, because uh... Because uh... Yeah. Oh, we nearly made a birdie out of that! Are you kidding me right now? Imagine we had made birdie off of that. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. That would have been fucking crazy if we'd actually made a birdie out of that dude. I swear to God, I would have freaked out. Frank Hill be very happy with this. Par five here. Yeah, the hardest thing right now is to just keep doing the same thing without focusing on the score. That's true, actually, commentator. I'm trying to focus. Oh no, there's a fucking three right in our way. Fuck this game, dude. Well Are you kidding me right now? Yards. We're gonna put a tree directly in front of my line here. And from the fairway for his second shot here. This has guaranteed. This is guaranteed. Gotta hit the fucking. Tree, right? Yeah. There's no way it wasn't in the tree, like, ever. We're actually still gonna get on the front. No, we're not. Third shot, looking for a good one. Oh, 
No, I had short swing there. It would have been perfect. I would have got that. It was dead on line if I didn't have short swing, man. It was literally dead on line. Oh my good god, I sliced the shit out of that putt, but it still went in. Alright, what are we? Six under with eight to play. We need seven birdies. Relatively short par for 11th, where a player with a good drive could stick a short iron in their hands. Yeah, this is uh, one you're going to have to make a decision. You can just play this as a straight forward dog leg left par four and hit a three wood or a long iron up there and you know, nine iron or something like that into the green. Or if you want it, you can try and blast a drive around the corner. Um, I don't know if that's the more prudent play, but uh, it's fun. Yeah, driver would have been too much. Had to hit a three wood there. Good contact, good result. A great way to start a home. Would have to try and hit a draw if I was going to be hitting driver. And been an outstanding they don't work when you're playing on these settings. To play this well, impressive. Ever. Really short swing again? It would have been perfect, dude. It would, why do I keep getting these shots that would just be perfect if I'm not hitting this dumbass short swing, dude? Fowler is capable of going on torrid runs. This would be a birdie for Fowler. Come on, boys. We need this. No, not even fucking close. That's how hard these greens are. Excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude Fuck, right man. now. Now we need a birdie on every hole, an average of a birdie on every hole. We only have one par five less, so that's our only chance for an eagle. We have two par threes as well. We're, no, we're fucked, dude. We have zero chance of it happening now, but we can have fun. We can have fun. We can see what the best round we can get. See if we can get double digits now at this stage. Ten under, I'd take it. That'd be a 62. Good swing on that one. Second shot now for Ricky Fowler. And we'll mark everything down. At Jordan, at PGA West, we got a 61. But Ricky, we'll see if we can get in or around there. 63, 62. All right. easy at this point. Another beautiful approach shot. It's just these greens, man. I swear to God, they're difficult. Only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. See, I nearly missed that. I didn't see any break in that, but it, it, it did break a little bit. Here we are at the par three, 13 hole. It's 210 yards. What does it take? All right, we're still on birdie every hole. One actually, um, we would rather be conservative than aggressive here, and the reason why is this green tends to roll off at the back and the front and the middle there. So uh, just something that pitches more in the central part of the green. Really How about that one, high. huh? How about that one, sir? That should do. That will do, donkey. On the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Good chance here. <laughs> what? Where's the break there? I didn't see it at all. I'm not, I'm just blind or else I'm just missing this. I didn't see the break there. Like, not even a little bit. I didn't see it. I thought that was dead straight in the middle. Wow, Frank, this is Good little part for, isn't it? That was an easy putt too. Like it is, a, and this is where one of those strong. Well, not easy, but that was a short in. putt. That was like seven the foot. Last fifty or sixty yards as the ball kicks down and towards the left, and it sounds like an aggressive play, but like a hard three would trying to run it down there is actually not a bad play. Is it drivable? It is drivable. Uh, why did I hit a driver? He was just talking about how I should hit a three wood. Well, we've seen this before today in the bunker. You know how to play this shot, Frank, right? You keep your chin up, you look down your nose at the ball, you have to pick it cleanly, and you keep your head still. Dude, I swear to God, if I if I end up missing because of that putt I just missed, miss, if I birdie every hole from here until the finish, I'm going to be 
incredibly pissed off if we miss out on a 59 because of that one fucking putt there. That was actually really short, and I should have made it. I'm gonna be pissed. Just letting y'all know. I'm gonna be mad. We eagle this. I swear to God, dude. I'm gonna start getting mad because. <laughs> I certainly do, Rich. That was an amazing run on the second nine. And holes like this, too. He just stood up here with a driver and just obliterated it down there. Oh, the my nice good God. Those out of what a drive. 350 fucking five right there. It's Holy shit. We're going to have a fucking nine iron coming in here and six iron. Okay. Approach to this, the final a little bit of an exaggeration there. So it's 208 up. 25 foot up, though. So yeah, I think this should be good if we hit this clean. Where is this one headed? Might just catch the left side of the green. Is that really way too far? I thought when it was like 25 foot up. That was a yeah. big bold strike, and now a chance for a big bold move. Putt for Eagle coming uh. up. Uh. If I make this, I'm not playing ever again, dude. <laughs> just didn't read it quite right. <laughs> just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. I swear to God, I better not miss out on this because of that seven foot fucking putt that I missed. I'm pretty sure it was actually less than that. And it was because. There was a turn there that I just couldn't see. I swear to God, I'll be so mad if we actually end up getting three birdies here to finish. I finished 12 on... No, well, there goes it. There goes it. Oh, what? I thought I was going way right. How is it going left? What the fuck? It makes no sense. Well, there goes a birdie, and I guess that's a really tough line. Yeah. Holy shit, boys. Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. Oh fuck. Is that really actually gonna be decent? 7% fast? Dude, are you kidding me right now? What the hell? Yeah, 21s want you to come of age, don't they say? 21 feet away. Oh my god, what the hell? No, no, this isn't happening right now. I'm not gonna miss out on a 59 because of that seven footer on the par three. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm putting this in the water. This is going in the water, guys, and that's the end of it. This is in the water, guys, okay? Thank you. This is in the water. Great. Uh,. It was a good run, but um, unfortunately, I, I hit it in the water here, and it didn't work out. Okay, that's just as bad, though, so that's not a birdie, so I can relax now. I would have got 60, though. Probably, maybe. I don't know about the last hole. We'll see about the last hole. Uh, Ooh, so turn the other way at the end. Lag up. Putt there, Frank. Yeah, the whole idea of a lag, lag putt, sometimes you build a three or a four foot circle. Just try and get it inside that. Good putt. Always we had a good round and we got the double digits under par again, guys. So, on the hardest settings, we're actually doing really good here. We're getting to the double digits under par twice now. Unless we bogey the last here, but it's unlikely because I'm Ricky Goddamn Fowler and this is my Jan. This is where Ricky smashed Rory and DA points. I think it was DA points, was it? In the, in the playoff. It was awesome. His first win. Just over 290 yards to get past that. And then the narrowest green that still sits up against the lake. This is just a brutal finish. It's a beautiful finish, sir. And that's a beautiful shot from Ricky Fowler. So maybe a nice way to finish up with a good All right, if we can finish with the birdie here, it'd be a nice way to finish. Chance for birdie. This is fucking difficult, Jesus Christ. Wow, that was 
so close, Frank. Close. Close, close boys, close. That one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. All right, 10 under. 10 under. 62, guys. So we've went 61 and 62 in our first two 59 watch this videos. So we are coming close. We'll get there at some stage. I uh, can't wait to see our course and who we will be when it happens. Um, so next up on 59 watch, we will be playing Eastlake. Oh. <laughs> Can we just not? Because uh, I'm never in my life ever going to get a 59 at Eastlake. That's just a fact. And we're going to be playing as, I think it's Dustin Johnson. Yeah, J Dustin Johnson. We'll play as R uh, Roy McIlroy, actually. We haven't played as him yet. Because uh, I want to get the chances where I don't have a chance of getting it out of the way <laughs> with Rory. <laughs> All right, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and hit it with a like. Let me know in the comments about the microphone. Um, I'd super appreciate it if you guys could let me know what you think. And we shall be back for more 59 Watch very soon.